It's time to smile with the new Candid Camera Show. When it's least expected, you're elected, you're the star today. Smile, you're on Candid Camera. With our whole focus, you're in focus, it's your lucky day. It's a tonic, try and chew It's fun to look at yourself As other people do Watch your sense of humor There's a rumor A laugh is on its way And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Candid Camera himself, Alan Funt! Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, may I welcome the better half of the Funt Flu combination, our co host, Joanne Flu. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And that deserves a kiss. Thank you, Joe. Joanne and I are both very happy that you could join us for another eavesdropping session of the Candid Camera. We go all over the world, from Japan to Australia, and we try to hide our cameras and microphones for one simple reason just to catch you in the act of being yourself. And here Joanne is going to start us off tonight with a brief explanation about a very technical subject. Joanne, what does no-fault automobile insurance mean to you? What it means is what Rhoda, not Rhoda. <laughs> Rhoda. <laughs> ben Jolson's wife. <laughs> what your wife is gonna say when you see, she sees my lipstick on your cheek. <laughs> I'll need no fault insurance. Right, which means <laughs> something well, happens to you and you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? That's I don't it. know. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to go now to a, a car which is in a parking lot and there's a note on the windshield. And uh, there's a, a lady who has left the note and I'm going to tell you what the note says. This cabbie is reading a note that says, I'm so sorry, I dented your taxi cab. But don't worry a bit about it. I'll take care of everything. And it's signed, A Friend. That is, poor Cab. He gets out. And he's going to start to look first for the dent. And then next for the nut who wrote the note. And uh, he can't find a single thing on his car. That is, he can't find a new dent. But now, here comes Maria with a rather unusual story. Listen. I left you a note. Yeah. I just called my insurance company and everything is okay. Where'd you hit the kid? I, I have no fault insurance. Oh, so you hit this kid? Well, I didn't say that. Uh, my insurance company told me I have no fault, so it wasn't my fault. Well, where'd you hit the kid? Well, they told me not to say anything. <laughs> You know, no fault insurance, it's, it's a little more, but if you hit somebody, then it's not your fault. Oh, so in other words, you're allowed to hit the kid, right? Right. right. Well, yeah, something like, I think. Well, where'd you hit the kid? Well, my insurance agent said not to say anything. He said I shouldn't give any information. Uh, you know, I don't understand you. No fault insurance no means... No fault insurance doesn't mean anything. No fault insurance means if you get in an accident, you got to settle. You got to give me your name and everything. But I want to know where'd you hit the car? I called my insurance agent. Where's your car? My car's fine. Don't worry about my car. It's okay. Well, you didn't let me show you what I wanted to show you. Show me. I know that you want to know where I hit the cab. But where'd you hit the cab? That's all well, I'm where asking. do you think I hit it? I don't want to. I can't play games. Everybody's hitting this cab, and I, and I, and I walk out Everybody's the car this night. Hitting your hey, cab? look at this. I was minding my own business oh, park. I, I know you didn't do that. I came out the door with that. Look at this. A guy, a guy who's parked over here, and a guy smashed into the car. Wow. Well, isn't that I'm driving the cab. I'm not even driving the cab. Everybody's hitting the car. Could we just forget about the whole thing, and could you not I, call I can't. 
Because if you say you hit the car, you can call up tomorrow. But it's so small that you can't even find it. Could you tell me where it is instead of keeping it a secret? I could do that. It's not that it's a secret. It's just that I'm trying to obey the people that give me insurance. The insurance company's only worried about themselves. They're not worried about you and I. They're not? No, they're not worried about so you why did they tell me it wasn't my fault? If you won't say anything, I won't say anything. But I would appreciate the fact. Is this what you did? Oh, no, I didn't do that. No, that's not it. I don't know. Everybody keeps hitting the car. See, I just saw this. This is a new dent. <laughs> yeah, that's a new dent. <laughs> Did you accept my apology? So I, I don't care. I'm telling you the truth. I don't care. But now I got to know where you hit the car. Is it really imperative that you know where I hit the car? I mean... I mean, look, there are all these dents anyway. What's the difference? That's right. That's what everybody else says when they hit the car. <laughs> See, I don't know what to say. I feel terrible. <laughs> if I asked you a question, are you, you're not angry at me, are you? I'm not angry. This doesn't, doesn't get me angry. Oh, that's good. I'm really glad because... I got more to worry about than this kid, believe me. Yeah, it's not really yours anyway, so... It is my kid. It is? Oh, you own the It cat? is my oh. kid. But I got more trouble than with this kid. Are you terribly unhappy? I mean, you were smiling a minute ago. I'm just laughing at how nothing goes my way, that's all. Well, I, I wouldn't want you to be unhappy on television. Uh, on television? Yeah. Like, if I asked you to smile, could you smile? If you tell me where you hit the car. We're, oh, we're on candid camera. But, no, I never touched the car. Didn't touch the car. Would you believe that I had him in the cab? I really had him in the cab. <laughs>